All of a sudden, I just folded, but I didn't want to see my family to see me. I felt embarrassed, shameless, uh, but hurt. You know, fathers don't go to their siblings to, you know, get a pickup. It's been a rough trip, and there are some people out there in the system that care. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. You know, one day you're, you've got a life, and one day you, your life is hell. Wesley Abadega Lodge has been running since about 1979, and it provides crisis accommodation for men and women. There's breakfast, morning, afternoon tea, and dinner provided for everybody. We don't have a curfew. Everybody has their own privacy in their own room, so they have their own key. We get phone calls daily. You know, there's people trying to get in here. Just took a phone call from a guy in prison wanting to book into Edward Eagle Lodge. You have to be there for them as well and, and do it in the right manner. Not uncommon to meet people who have been rough sleeping for 10 years. You're inclined to put the average around five to six. As a rule of thumb, we generally talk about a year of support beyond homelessness for every year that someone has spent in Homelessness. In order to come out of homelessness, I don't think any one service is the answer. I think if we all join together, it creates a barrier, I guess, for that person not to step back into homelessness. Our commitment to you is a promise not to pull the rug from under you. And if you meet us halfway, together we're going to make sure that your next move is forward. When I come in here, it's like I meant to, I'm supposed to be here. There's a lot of people out there that are homeless. And there's a lot of people that can't uh, handle this kind of thing. Coming here made me open my eyes up for the life that I had. I missed out on all my grandchildren and stuff like that. I see a bit of them, but I think I want to do it properly. Homelessness reaches everybody, so it's not a any one group. When you work in families, your typical family would be mum and the kids experiencing domestic family violence. A lot of the early intervention work we're doing through South East Sydney is to do with families. A fair amount of rental arrears being paid to save tenancies, sometimes support with bonds for families to move into new tenancies. There is medium term housing or transitional housing that we provide, you know, supporting people to find tenancies, advocating where we can with real estate agents. Homeless people are easily among the most vulnerable in our community. Such a big part of our work is holding onto that hope when people won't or can't. We need to believe that they can have a home of their own and a community in which they can belong. <laughs>